Hi guys, little video here about using lithium ion batteries. Uh, this sort of thing. I can see this one's a 14500. The significance of a 14500 is it's the same dimensions as a AA battery. So you could fill your radio controlled car up with these and blow it up, basically. Um, 3.7 volts. I got that there? Yeah, 3.7 volts as opposed to 1.5 volts. And when these are freshly charged, they're actually near 4.2 volts. So if you put like this car, which would take three AA batteries, three AA's add up to four and a half volts. If you put three of these in there, you could possibly put in 12 volts through there, so you'll kill it straight away. So what you do is you get one of these, and then you have some dummies to go in behind it. So these are some that I've made. I've actually got some on order, but I did a video a little while back on making a dummy one of these that you could actually put an external battery on. So you could put that in there and have the whatever type of battery you want on the end of it. But at the same time, I printed enough of these off so I could just double end them and put a straight through piece of wire between them. So that's just a straight through connector. So that goes in there like that. In fact, let's put that one in the middle. Just for visibility. There you go. So that's our three three point seven volts. If it's freshly charged, it'd be a little bit more. Uh, these aren't freshly charged, they're straight from the eBay, haven't been charged by me at all, so there's probably just storage voltage in it. So, put it in the right way round. Three point nine nine volts, so just short of four volts straight away. So if put the cover back on there. Find a controller. Oh, there it is. Switch that one on. No, switch this one on as well. On is that way. This one's even got lights, I think. Yeah. So there you go. That's lithium ion battery in a radio controlled car with no modification whatsoever to the car. We'll just give that a little run on the floor. Before we give it a run I'll just go through a couple of other combinations of batteries. So that one was three AA batteries which would add up to four and a half volts and we're running it on a single lithium ion battery which was 3.9 volt, 3.99 volts, we just measured the voltage on it, which is probably its storage charge. It should be more than that when it's freshly charged. But what happens if you've got more than three AA batteries? So this one, which is the one that I wanted to demonstrate with, but unfortunately the terminals are rusted through, so there's no way we can actually run that at the moment. But this one, one, two, three, four, five batteries, five times one and a half, seven and a half volts. So in this one, you'd put two because they would be 3.7 plus 3.7, 7.4. So nominally, two of those would replace five double A's. Remember though, when it's freshly charged, it's nearer, well, it's over four volts. So you'd actually be putting eight point something volts through there. 
which your car might like or it might overheat. And you'd need three dummy batteries to go in there to fill up the other spaces. And then if your car took eight AA batteries, eight times one and a half, 12 volts, so your car's expecting 12 volts. If you put three of these in, three times 3.7 isn't 12, but bear in mind when they're freshly charged, they are four volts. Three of them would replace eight of them. So in that case, you'd need three of them in there and five dummy batteries. You can buy the dummy batteries, same time as you can buy the uh, 14 500s. 14 500, it's 14 millimetres diameter, 500 millimetres length. That's what it refers to. What most people come across is the 18 650s, which are bigger. 18 millimetre diameter and 650 millimetres long. Um, I pinched these out of power packs. So I made myself a 3S battery with that for one of my little projects. They're also the same size that I was going to say most laptop batteries are made from, but that may not be true now. But certainly the laptop batteries I've opened in the past were 18650 batteries in them. And they're too big. They won't fit in there. So you need the 14500s. Um, like all uh, batteries that you buy online, it may or may not be true what's written on it. That one says... 2,800 milliamp hours. These ones, I don't think you'll see it in the light here, 1,200 milliamp hour. So in theory, these have got less power than those smaller ones, but that may or may not be true. When you're buying on somewhere like eBay, they tend to boost the milliamp hours to try and sell them to you. Anyway. Enough of that, we'll just see if this one actually runs. Forwards, backwards. Oh, <laughs> wheel fell off. <laughs> well, I didn't expect that. Oh, well. I don't think we can relate that to having a lithium ion battery fitted. But, uh, yeah, I quite like this one. Cost me. Where are we? £1.99 in a charity shop. Didn't have a controller with it. But, uh, yeah. Nice one. Thank you for watching. There is one point that I didn't mention right at the beginning. Um, if you go for lithium-ion batteries, you need a charger for them because they're rechargeable batteries and you can't st just stick them in your old nickel metal hydride charger that won't do the job so you do need to buy a charger to go with it so that's an additional expense thanks for watching if you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video you might like this one up here and if you want to subscribe you can check out my channel over here up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.